Hey guys, this is an explanation of pH and pOH. So pH is defined as the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. Now hydrogen ion is just a proton because the electron has been removed. And if you graph the log like y equals log of x, not e to the x, but the common base 10 log, the log of 1 is 0. And the log of numbers less than 1, these are decimal numbers from 0 to 1, is asymptotic down this way to 0, and it starts rising like that. So our pHs are going to be in here. Now notice these are negative numbers. That's why you times by negative 1 to make it positive. So pH is not really like a natural log of, law of chemistry or physics. It's just the way we uh, conveniently uh, give a quick number for how many of these guys we have. Because we could have so many, it's a huge range. The pH scale ranges from 0 to 14, where 7 is in the middle. And we've heard before that the pH of water is 7, which is neutral. Okay. On this side, between 7 and 14, that's a base. And from 0 to 7 is an acid. Now, this is kind of dependent on how water behaves by this guy named Arrhenius. So you take H2O. Think of H2O splitting up and making an acid guy plus a base guy. And what's nice about it, when you split it, it makes one acid guy for every one base guy. That's why it's neutral, because it makes both an acid and a base. But if you look at water, water looks like water. It doesn't look like split up ions. That's because the concentration of pure water of hydrogen ions is just 1 times 10 to the minus 7th. And the concentration of hydroxide ions, the base component, is 1 times 10 to the minus 7th. This is 1 10 millionth moles per liter. This is a molarity. Okay? Notice this. 1 times 10 to the minus 7th times 1 times 10 to the minus 7th is 1 times 10 to the minus 14th. Wait a minute, 14, we've seen that. Ah, see? And this number, 1 times 10 to the minus 14th, is called Kw, the constant for water. Okay, we'll be using that number. Okay, so <clears throat> let's do an example. Suppose you have HCl, hydrochloric acid, the simplest acid. Suppose it's concentration. These brackets means molarity. And the concentration is, how about like 0.12? So it's 0.12 molar. Okay, and say we want to find the pH. And we could also find pOH. Okay, so look at the dissociation function. So since it's a strong acid, it 100% splits up. So if this guy's 0.12, this guy's 0.12. And so the pH is equal to the log of the hydrogen ion times negative 1. Because it's negative, and when you times by negative 1, it makes it positive. So that equals the log of 0.12 times a negative 1. Do it on calculator. Log. 0.12, so it's negative 0.92, okay? Times it by negative 1, a negative times a negative is a positive, so the pH is 0.92, okay? To find pOH, super simple. pH plus pOH is always equal to 14. So 14 minus pH is equal to pOH. So 14 minus 0.92. What's kind of cool about when you have it in your calculator, since it's already negative, just kind of like add 14 to it and I'll subtract it. And so that's 13.079. We're going to call that, we really can't measure this very well with most instruments because it's a logarithmic scale. So if we want, we can call it 13.08, or really most people would just render the 13. So I'm just going to say it's about 13 for reasons I'll explain later. Maybe not so good online in a video. Okay, so we found the pH, and we found the pOH. What about going backwards? Suppose we know the pH is equal to, yeah, about 0.92.
how would we find the hydrogen ion concentration? Well, what's the inverse function of log? That's the 10 to the x function. These are inverse functions of each other. Okay, so um, the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 10 to the minus pH. Uh, you have to stick that minus sign in there, so we're going to go 10 to the minus 0.92. So, clear my calculator and hit my shift, 10 to the x, stick a negative in there, 0.92, hit equals. And notice I have uh, 0 0.12, 0 0.12 molar. That's what we started off with right here in the problem. Okay. So I'm going to give you a couple on a worksheet to do. Go back and review this video if you're not sure what to do. Watch it 10,000 times.